This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today what we're going to do is take a look at how to add rational expressions. Rational expressions are just fractions. Rational means ratio. Ratio means just two numbers or two quantities in relation to each other. So here we have one fraction. We're going to add another fraction to it. So in order to add fractions, we need the common denominator. Well, we do. We have a common denominator. So what we're going to do is then add the numerators. So we have 3x plus 7x fifths. Add them together, we get 10x fifths. Now it turns out that when you're done adding the two numerators, we then look to see if there's some common factor between the numerator and denominator, and there is in this case, so the common factor is 5. So I divide the top by 5, you get 2x. Divide the bottom by 5, I get 1. So the final answer is 2x. So that is the result of adding these two fractions together. Now, of course, this was a very, very simple problem. What we want to do is take a look at a problem that's a little bit more complex. So not only are we going to have two fractions that have unequal denominators, but we're also going to take a look at uh, these fractions because they represent uh, expressions. In other words, there's variables stuck in there. And what we want to do is evaluate these, right? Or, I'm sorry, not evaluate them, or we want to add them. We want to add these two fractions together. All right, so how do we do it? First thing we do is have to get a common denominator. So if you're thinking, well, how do we get a common denominator with these two expressions because they're not actual values? What you do is you basically pretend like they're values. And although this is not always the best technique when you're dealing with numbers because it won't always lead to the lowest common denominator, in this case it will, what we're going to do is multiply this denominator uh, by x plus 2 and the numerator by x plus 2. That's for this fraction right here. And then for this fraction on the right, we're going to multiply it by x plus 1. And whatever we multiply the bottom of a fraction by, we multiply the top. Now you're thinking, well, how does this give us a common denominator? Well, our denominator here will be x plus 1 and x plus 2. Our denominator here will be x plus 1 times x plus 2 also. Therefore, they'll have the same denominator. All right, so what does that mean? Well, it means I'm going to multiply these numerators together. So I'm going to multiply them. So 4 times this quantity is going to be 4x plus 8 all over our common denominator, x plus 1, and another x plus 2. OK, so that's our first fraction. So let's take a look at the second fraction. Let's multiply there. Well, we get 2x plus 2. And over here, we're going to get the same denominator, x plus 1 times x plus 2. All right, well, since we have our common denominator, well, we could add the numerators together. So 4x plus 2x is 6x. 8 plus 2 is 10 all over our common denominator, x plus 2. You know, just like this last problem, we wanted to see if there's a common factor, and there was. We could divide the top and bottom by 5. To see if there's a common factor, I'm going to actually factor the denominator. In other words, I could see that I could divide both of those numbers by 2, and I'm going to get 3x plus 5. And I still have the same two factors in the denominator. And after doing this, it is definitely clear that there is no other 3x plus 5 in the denominator. There's no other factor of 2 in the denominator. So there's nothing else that I can factor. There's no common factors between the numerator and the denominator. So that's the final answer. So here are our two examples on how to add rational expressions. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our other videos, our lessons in interactive quizzes. Take care.